Hola, ¿cómo estás? Soy Joseph Starbuck y es día número 77 de Desafío de las 90 Días. What is up, guys? It is day 77 of the 90 Day Challenge to Learn Spanish. And today I went ahead and had my week 11 update conversation with my italki teacher, Bruno, who has been here throughout the entire challenge. And he will go ahead and give you guys an update on how he thinks I've done and am doing, as well as I'm going to keep about five minutes of our conversation, a random part of the conversation at the end of the video. Real quick, I wanted to go ahead and say thank you guys for all the comments, all the subscribers, and all the support. And if you guys want to support me further, you can go ahead and check out my affiliate links for both italki and Link. Italki, you can go ahead and talk to some native speakers. And of course, Link is the website that Steve Kaufman, the polyglot, created. And I use every single day to study. I am now studying for a total of three hours per day, one hour of bilateral translating, which is the um, it is the system that Luca, the polyglot, uses, as well as one hour of reading and one hour of talking with an italki teacher. So that is what I'll be doing for the rest of this challenge. I have 13 more days to go, so it's crazy close, and I've made so much progress. I still feel like I have so much more to make, and in 90 days, do I think I'm gonna be able to speak fluently? Of course not. Fluency is just such a massive, massive goal, and it's part of so many different moving parts. The conjugation of Spanish is immense. Everything changes in the past, present, and different tenses, as well as whether the word is male or feminine. There's a lot of filler words, but I do feel like I've made great progress and I am very excited to see how well I do on day 90. And then of course I will continue studying because I'm going to Cancun, Mexico on day 100. And then from there, I will most likely continue this challenge and see how far I get in 120 days. So let's go ahead and jump and see what Bruno thought and thinks about my challenge so far. Adios. As always, check out Bruno's italki and YouTube channel down in the description. So the, the last lesson, we also been talking for almost one hour about different things. And I don't know, uh, your vocabulary seems um, strong. Your pronunciation is, is strong. Um, sometimes you, you have grammar pro problems, but that's OK. Uh, grammar is, I mean, you're not studying grammar that much. No. Nope. You're absorbing, so that's okay, I think you can make grammar mistakes. And with the time, they will disappear. But well, I think, I, I mean, if you if you think about it like with, I don't know, if you think about yourself with that perfectionism and you, you want to, to speak perfectly uh, after 90 days, mm -hmm. well, I think that's not going to be possible because we have, less than 15 days remain right but i think the the, um, the result is already impressive That's it. Um, i mean you started in zero right see si. yeah 80 days ago you were like a total beginner total beginner couldn't say I, anything and now you can survive yeah if i drop <laughs> in any latin american country or spain uh you will survive yeah so yeah, I think I think um, I well I just want to see the video that you that you will do and see all the progress like in one shot or in yeah. one video. But I think it's already amazing. So heck yeah, heck yeah. Well, don't quit. And I, of course, if you if you have the energy that we've been talking today, uh, continue to uh, 120 days. Yeah. And if, oh yeah. And if you keep well, going, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, I definitely. Go, go <laughs> yeah, I definitely have to do a hundred days for sure because I'm going to Cancun, Mexico, and I'm gonna try and talk to to native speakers and just see if I can get along with them like on the street or something like that. You know, maybe go to a store or go get a haircut or something like that. Uh, yeah, you have to do that because you you will have to avoid tourists in Cancun. Yeah, so you have to go to the local areas or shops or stores, whatever. Exactly. So. Yeah. That's well, I, I'm. I'm looking forward to see it, and if you can, uh, I don't know, record stories or even uh, a vlog about your experience, that would be. Awesome. Oh yeah, yeah. In in Spanish or just in English? You can do it in Spanish, right? For your YouTube channel, my I don't know, my trip to Mexico. Yeah. Where yeah. I, yeah. what I practice, what I've learned in this 90 days challenge, and you can I don't know, film your experience, your. I don't know, satisfactions, frustrations, etc. You can show them yeah, yeah. what you're capable of doing or, and what you can't, right? Todo tu tiempo está ocupado. Sí, sí. Eh, no, uh, no hay mucho tiempo por 
otras cosas uh, a, claro. uh, antes estudiando por tres horas por día. Es como todo tu tiempo libre es para estudiar. Uh, uno más no comprende. Uh -huh. Todo tu tiempo libre es para estudiar. No, no estudiar uh, estudiando por una hora leyendo, leyendo uh -huh. um, y una hora bilateral translation. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice bilateral or just translating? Transeja. Traducción. Traducción bidireccional. Tran tra traducción traducción bidireccional. Sí, en una hora uh, hablar o hablando con uh, profesor de Italki. Bien. Bueno, eh, son tres horas, pero bueno, puedes hacerlo, ¿no? No es aburrido. No es aburrido. Claro, no. Son no. tres horas, pero no es aburrido, ¿no? Uh, no, no. Um, nunca. Or not anymore. ¿Cómo se dice not anymore? Ya no. Ya no. Wow, that's easy. Ya no. Um, a la. Uh, comenzo la desafío. Una, una hora. Uh, uh, eres un poco. Um, uh -huh. abor aburrido. Sí. Sí, pero. Mm, ya no. no Bien. Claro. Estás acostumbrado. Es tu rutina. Sí, exactamente. Es hablando con tú y otra uh, otro profesores es muy, muy uh, uh, I'm trying to say palabra? fun, fun, fun. Des okay. I want to say desafio, but it's not. It's it's well, desportes well, or no. Y di Disfrut, no, dis, di, div, divertido, divertido, eso es, sí, divertido, divertido, sí. Bueno, yo creo que es divertido cuando podés tener una conversación con alguien después de estudiar por un tiempo un idioma, es, es gratificante. Sí, sí, exactamente. Es, eh, es como, no sé, satisfactorio más sí. que divertido, ¿no? Sí, muy, muy sí. satisfactorio. Mm -hmm. Sí. Y um, yo creo que cuando termines tu desafío, si continúas eh, con tu disciplina, vas a poder hablar muy bien en, en pocos meses. En pocos meses. Um, yo... Nunca vi a un estudiante que en tres meses pueda hablar fluido. Pero tal vez en cuatro, cinco, seis, puedes hacerlo. Y después del desafío, creo que no es necesario tres horas todos los días. Sí. Puedes hacer una hora o dos, sí. o una hora y media, 30 minutos. Eso es mucho si lo haces sí. todos los días. Sí. En el largo plazo, ¿no? Como en un año o dos. Eso es, es mucho tiempo. Sí. Eh, creo que tres horas es un poco extremo. 